Every one of us can relate to this. When life just kicks us when we're down, in those moments that life just decides to bury us. But if we stick together and we believe in one another, we will rise to the top. Oh my gosh, how? I still don't get it. <laughs> okay, former NFL player John Dornbus, that's him performing his magic act on the America's Got Talent finale back in 2016. We thought you were gonna win. Mm -hmm. You were our bad. Yes. John's back for another round with the new spinoff, America's Got Talent, the champions, which yeah. you are. Welcome, my friend. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Thank you guys for having me. Let's talk about magic and you and your life and your childhood. The story is incredible. Share with everybody what led you to magic. Yeah, so uh, my mom worked at the school and she volunteered at the school and had, had a reading program. And my dad was the president of the league. He was my best friend. And uh, I came home when I was 12 years old and, and my dad murdered my mom. And oh my completely God. out of the blue, we didn't expect it. So my sister and I went through the most intense therapy you could imagine. Uh, we did about a year, year and a half in temporary foster care. And then my Aunt Susan, my mom's mom, she adopted my sister and I, and um, the rest is history. And became a real mom to you all, yeah. right? Yeah, best mom any, any kid could ever ask for. And then, but magic was really what, what saved you in a way yeah, during so, that therapy and all of what you were going through, yeah, right? Yeah, so I, I saw a 16 year old named Michael Groves, and he did tricks, and I was like, this is amazing. But what's really cool is what I found is that if I had a deck and I shuffled, it was the sound, right? It was huh. the feeling, it was the idea that. Uh, even what I was going through and, and thinking about all the adult things that you now are, are aware of, right? Mm -hmm. You're now exposed to the evil side of life at such a young age. If I shuffled cards, I was a kid. Hmm. And I didn't realize that until years and years later. But if I sit at a table and I shuffle, everything goes away and I'm literally just a kid. And still to this day, if I have a decision I have to make in life, I sit at a table and I just shuffle. Wow. And if it's five minutes or, or all night, Usually I stand up from that table and I'm like, okay. Your meditation. That's, yeah. Incredible. John, you talk about, and, and this is, this is it was shocking to me to, to learn the story. I mean, we met at uh, an event earlier this, this summer. Um, but you talk about your father being your best friend and, and then having to deal with this yeah. at the hands of your father. What, how was your, how did your relationship, did your relationship go anywhere? How did it change? Well, e everything changes. Yeah. Right? And uh, you, you have to... Uh, the, the therapy that I went through uh, was, was kind of like an experiential therapy where you dive into it. Mm -hmm. And uh, part of it is, is coming to terms with your reality mm -hmm. and finding forgiveness. And that might take a long, long time, yeah. but it, it's just that. It's being okay with things ending and new things beginning. It's being okay with uh, understanding that people come and go in your life and, <clears throat> excuse me, and we can take things from that to benefit our lives. And so, you know, the, the way I look at it is my dad, uh, in, and now that I'm... Uh, a husband, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of a roadmap of maybe some decisions not to make in life. And so I just look at it as that, that maybe there's going to be things that come up in my marriage or uh, life, and I'm just going to sit back and say, he went this way, maybe I should go that what way. What happened? What caused it? No one knows. Yeah. No one knows. He went to prison, though. Yeah, he served, uh, he turned himself in and then uh -huh. uh, the, the following day, and then uh, he served uh, 13 years. And then do you have a relationship with him at all now? Or? Not, yeah, I haven't spoken to him. You never. Yeah. And, uh, it is, you know, I, I hope he's doing good things in this world because the reality is he's alive, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and this is what I mean by coming to terms with life doesn't care. Yeah. Right. And it doesn't care what our opinion is. It happens. It happens. And so you can sit here and live with bitterness forever, or you can understand that this individual's not in my life anymore. Mm -hmm. And you know what? For the world's sake, I hope he is maybe helping people that were in his position. Well, it's or, interesting because the, 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 you talk about life. That wasn't the only bit of, of incredible in your, in your story. You then go on to play in the NFL. Pretty cool. For the Amazing. Eagles. Yeah. Like, people know your name. Yeah. Play for yeah. the NFL. <laughs> and then you get traded last year, last year playing. And what happens? Yeah, so I got traded. Well, <clears throat> okay, going into training camp that year, uh, I had the most consecutive games ever played as an Eagle. So in my mind, I was I'm Mr. Here. Eagle. You're I mean, yes. come on, we're here, baby. <laughs> yes. here people years. love me. Yeah. I'm great. Yeah, and then they said, hey, we want to trade you. And I was like, uh, huh? Wait, what? You know, but then it was that moment of coming to terms, right? And I said, you know what? If it's my time, let's shake hands. We go quiet. Thank you for all the years. No bitterness. You guys gave me 12 That's great years. The key. Yeah. With life. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, the owner called me, Jeff Lurie, and said, hey, if you want to stay another year, you know, you can and you retire an Eagle. And I was like, you know what, Jeff? For whatever reason, this came up. And if it's now my we know time, what the reason it's is. all good. And mm -hmm. I was traded to New Orleans. They discovered I had a, a six centimeter aneurysm, which means the vein that leaves my heart should be the size of maybe a dime or a nickel. Right. And mine was the size of a Coke can. That's and not you're gosh. playing football. Yeah. Not and good. So, Think about this is what Alan Thick, uh, John Ritter passed yeah. away from. Yep. That saved your life being traded. Yeah. And Bill Paxton died of a complication of the surgery yes. post. Uh, yeah. How long were you on the table then under surgery? Uh, so we were told about four or five hours. Right. Uh, the surgery ended up being 10 hours and 45 minutes. Jesus. And uh, my wife and I were in the hospital 
uh, about 30 He's days beautiful. post-surgery. Oh, dude, my wife oh my is the coolest <laughs> chick ever. This is, this is your test, Look at though. that, though. Yeah, and you know what? I, you know, tattoos are great. I, I dig them, but I'm, I, I've always dug scars. Like, I think scars are hot. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dude's chicks. Well, then, brother, you got one of the <laughs> hardest, you got one of the so hardest scars out there. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm rocking that bad boy. You know, what I mean? you know what I love, John? You can feel your light mm -hmm. around you, and we've heard a little bit of your story. What do you say to people out there, like, struggling? Like, how did you find this? And it feels like once you can let go of everything and find this, you're in such a great spot. You know, uh, right, right before we went on air, we were talking, mm -hmm. and uh, you, you will yourself. Yeah. And, I, and I truly believe this, that the way you talk to yourself, the way you view the world, the way that you uh, talk about other people, that's the same way that you're going to feel about other people, the same way you're going to treat other people. So, yeah. and, and you know what? It was really wow. cool. Terry Crews gave me a quote, and I'm not name dropping, but this, this resonated. He goes, John, you know what you and I have in common? And I was like, our physique? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. Uh, no. You can't fake love in people. Yeah. You can't fake love in life. Yeah. You just do or you don't, right? And, uh, and I do, and, and I believe this, that whatever you want in life, whatever you want to feel, whatever you want to be, just keep telling yourself. Wow. And guess what? That's what's going to happen. I well, believe in all that. The story it. is incredible. You're incredible. We know why you're a great motivational speaker. But also, he's getting the Hollywood treatment. So yes. who's going to play you? Oh. We'll get to that. Also, <laughs> talk more about AGT, the champions. Um, and he's got a trick for us as well. Uh-oh. We're casting. We have some ideas. Okay. We have ideas. You guys might know a guy that knows a guy that okay. knows a guy that knows a guy. Okay. Oh, we know. Exactly. We know. Susan, I can't think of any contestant who has defined this show better than you. Four of the champions, the best of the best, go back into the fight again. This is the toughest talent battle of all time. You're not just taking on America, you're taking on the world. Oh, Taking on cool. the world. A look at NBC's new spinoff, America's Got Talent, The Champions. 50 of the show's most memorable acts are going to compete, including finalists, magician John Dorenboss, who's with us, our new bud. Okay, your act has taken you so many places. Who, what celebrities have you performed for? Um, well, okay, so there's there's three I always wanted to meet. Okay. okay and I'm, I'm, now this is going to sound really pretentious and name dropping. And they were uh, Garth Brooks, Adam Sandler, and Jay Leno. Uh huh. And so I became friends with Garth, and I would perform at his events uh, for teammates for kids. Well, then Garth introduced me to Jay Leno. So that was like wow. mind blowing, right? And then uh, I do ADT. Adam Sandler comes to Philly, and he's performing. And I get a call. Hey, my kids and I watched you perform, and like my kids love you. Do you want to come backstage and like do tricks? So cool. I'm like, wait, what? what? Hold on. I, 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 How did you get my number? Danny, Paul, John, did you see that? <laughs> or, like, you know? right. And so Amazing. sure enough, I, I got to meet Sandler, which was really, really cool. And, uh, you know, I, I always wanted to perform on Ellen. And, and she kind of, we, we took a liking and, and yeah. we believe in the You've same thing. You've been hosting a lot. It's unbelievable. Yeah. She's been, her crew, her show, everything about it. So, yeah. um, you know what? It's, it's been cool. And, and uh, you know, John Krasinski, he hit me up oh. and was like, yo, dude. It, this was cool. No so, big deal. So, hey, Johnny, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw it to you. Johnny? Please. Yeah. Johnny. Well, well, goes JK, by Johnny. JK, here it comes. Hey, we're doing this event, you know, for M. Emily right. Yeah. And uh, I, I couldn't make it, but uh, yeah, it was cool that, you know, all of a sudden people are fans and you're like, holy cow, like, you know, but it also started when I was playing. Like, there's a lot of celebrities that are Eagles fans, mm -hmm. and I, I found that out. So, Bradley you the locker room? Oh, yeah. Which, which yeah. brings us to the Hollywood treatment because mm -hmm. your life story is going to be a made, made into a movie. Yeah, you it's wrote a, a book. It's a trip yeah. to think about that. Yeah, so the book will be out in 2019. Uh, and uh, a buddy of mine did a movie. His name's Riley Smith, and he did radio. And he's like, you got to meet this guy, Mike Tolan. He's a Philly guy. He, you know, so long story short, I said, that's the guy I want to do it. He did Varsity Blues. And sure enough, time goes. Him and I meet. We become friends. We don't really talk about it. And then the yeah. time comes. He says, hey, let's do it. Who's going to play you? Oh, man. We don't know yet. But I, I you know, you, you guys threw out B. Coop. Yeah. But I'll, or direct. I'll, he could direct. Yeah, he could, you know, whatever. Or John Krasinski yeah, would direct. Hey, Krasinski, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah, come you, on. You, Chris Pratt. Come on. That's it. Come on. Let's go make it happen. I mean, look at that. If he, and, and he, <laughs> I mean, he sense can of grow humor, a beard. everything. And he actually did a trick on a talk show once, and it was awesome. Pratt, you did it. I saw Speaking it. Speaking of tricks, it. you got one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Let's here's it. I'm going to pull this in. Up your sleeve. Yeah, yeah. Nothing you got a minute and a half. Let's go. Here, pull one out. Sure. Doesn't matter. Love okay, it. look at it. You got it? And you're going to do the same oh, thing. Oh, okay. Pull one okay. out. Oh, I, get, I look yeah, at my own? Yeah, yeah oh, you get yeah. one too. Do I show her? No, don't no, show yeah, her. No, okay. yeah, show the camera. Show the camera. Oh. Go. And then put your card right here. Yep. Okay, okay. Here, here's don't, the deal. Don't look. Should we, do you want me to no, show No, just hold on to yours. Hold we'll get to yours in a second. Okay. This here is called a normal shuffle. And what a normal shuffle is, it's when you take cards like this and you shuffle them together and yeah. everything's normal, okay? Okay. Good. Got it. Nothing normal about that. Well, this is called a slop shuffle. This is a lot harder. It's when you take some cards face up and some cards face down. And when you shuffle them together, now you have cards that are all mixed up, face up, face down. Makes it really hard to find. I have right. no idea what this Name is. Name your card out loud. Yours. Ten of spades. Ah, oh, ten of spades. Hopefully within a cut, I can find it. And they go just like this. They all go back in order. 
except hopefully for one. <laughs> Wait, now hold on, hold on, hold on. So here, get, 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 yeah, get that shot right Is there. That so voodoo. There's that your cast mates. There? Now hold on, you didn't know what to expect. So here's the deal. Okay. We're gonna go like this, and uh, you didn't know what to expect. So I want to, I want to do this again. Okay. But now I'm gonna take cards like this. We're gonna take some cards face down, some face up, some face down, and some face up. And now watch this. I'm gonna shuffle these guys together. So now you can totally see this. Boom. Okay. And then you can gotcha. zoom in on this. Yeah, yeah. And you, you very rarely do you see a magician shuffle like that because he doesn't have control, right? <laughs> right. And then we'll go do, 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 like this. Now here's what's cool. You got 30 oh. seconds, John. Yeah, no. He got it. Perfect. Don't worry. I didn't have you name your card. Nope. Oh. Okay. <laughs> improv time. Improv. Uh, name it out loud. Nine of clubs. It takes two shuffles. One, two, to get all the clubs out. And now, lucky for you, it takes three shuffles for me to take all those clubs, put all those back in order. So now because you picked a club, I thought I'd put all the cards back in order. Oh except all the clubs, which I oh shuffled to be in order. Oh my gosh. So there's your ace. ace. Where's your card? Oh ace. My two, God. three, four. What? Five, six, seven. Eight. You know what I'm saying? Your nine fits right there. Ten jack, queen, king right there. There's all the clubs. I don't want to know. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. What are you like at the poker table? Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let's go to Vegas together. I want some of that. <laughs> America's Got Talent, the champion premieres Monday at 8 p.m. on NBC. You can see oh my, my man. God. Kill it on the show. Woo! The best is, I kept thinking you messed up. I thought, oh, <laughs> Me too. There's a plan. There's a plan. That was incredible. The method to the madness. Uh, we love you. Yeah.